The belt that we use predominantly for the Neuroflex is the, called the Quick Ease belt. And the Quick Ease belt is the type of belt which is we call universal. It's one size fits all. When you don't have somebody that will fit in the belt, we have these convenient flaps which increase the length of the wing arms by upwards of 10 to 12 inches. If you live in, a in an area where the population is extremely rotund, you may want to have a couple of these available. The belt is cut in such a way that it fits nicely and snugly around virtually any human pelvis. It is meant to catch the pelvic brim so that the pull will be directed downward at the pelvis and the resultant tension will be at the uh, lumbar spine. We have a cut so that we can easily pull the flap, tightening it in Velcro, the, what we term the abdominal wrap. It then utilizes two cinching belts. The first cinching belt is the predominant pull portion, and this is simply tightened. And then the tail strap is conveniently and easily attached with two teeth. Most CAs we find can attach this belt in a, under a minute in almost all configurations. We also utilize, unique to our belt, a secondary cinch strap. And the cinch strap simply goes through the ring loop and attaches to its opposite side and is also pulled tight. What this belt does is it keeps that ring loop from slipping down. Sometimes with people that have larger protruding abdomens, the belt has a tendency to fall to catch its seat point down here. Or if you don't tighten it initially sufficiently, the belt will slip. This secondary cinch will eliminate caudal slippage of that belt. In addition, we have a white stripe, a positioning stripe. Obviously, this, this stripe is meant to align with the gluteal crease and uh, between both legs. So as you look down between the patient's legs, you can recognize if the belt is offset, and then you can reapply it or move it slightly so it's in perfect alignment. There's two uh, unique aspects to our tail strap. One is a handle which allows the, the doctor or the CA to grab hold of this handle and to pull pre-tensioning and getting the belt properly seated. Anytime you put a belt on, there's always a little bit of movement, either caudally or cranially, and this handle allows you to get 15 or 20 pounds of pull to get that belt properly seated. We also utilize two ring loops for the attachment of the rope. The first ring loop is the universal ring loop. It's going to give an even pull of the top and the bottom straps. The, the lower pull uh, on the handle, the ring loop, affords us the ability to get a little bit more inferior pull to sort of snug up under the pelvis and the sacrum and add a little bit more of a, of a sense of this flexing of the lower pelvis. In some cases, patients feel a little bit more tension on their ASISs. This lower ring loop will afford us the ability to get more of that tension in the lower back and a more satisfying sense of pull.